Folks, it's Sunday. Not much action happening out there today. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to change up the pace. Turn up the temp because it's about to go down. Third opening of the 13 packs I purchased at CollectCon Orlando 2023. Now, got my two polls here thus far. For those of you joining, welcome. So we have this crispy Ninetales, this crispy Kaboo Tops. Very, very, very fortunate that these cards are absolutely clean and flawless. I can't get over it. Folks, it only takes one. I'm the Pole Father, and today is a Sunday opening. Before I get into this video, the first thing I want to say is thank you. Uh, really, I mean, this is an elite group right here we're building. Um, I think I gained like maybe 15 subscribers or 12. Like, that's awesome. Um, welcome. Like, keep commenting, guys. I, lo I love it. Um, it's just kind of just having fun. Um, you know, just a good way to get some escape from work life and just have some fun, kick back, crack some packs, have a good time. Me take the risk. It's a lot, <laughs> a lot of risk, but anyways, here guys, we have here our next heavy fossil pack opening. I think after this one, I'm going to crack one more fossil in the next video, and then I'll probably rotate into the base set or into the jungle, and then I'll probably end it with the fossil. I think so, just to switch it up a little bit. So a little background for those of you guys who are joining. Um, I pulled these two cards right here. Crispy. Um, purchased these at Orlando Collecticon. I purchased them from three different people. I'm very impressed on how these look. I'm actually more afraid that these cards are getting damaged and ruined by literally just sitting in my house. And even though I'm like storing them correctly and like perfectly, just because these look like they're fresh out of the box. And I feel like I'm the, even though they've, they've been sealed for 20, 30 years, I feel like now more than ever that the longer I let them send the packs, this outside of its box, the worst condition it's going to be. So it pressures me. I'm like, come on, we got to open these, got to open these. So anyways, here we are. Now, folks, what we're gearing for here is um, anything. Now, going into this pack, I know the risk. A lot of these hollows come in bad shape. You're lucky if when you pull a hollow out of here, it'll grade at eight or nine. That's usually the going rate. However, we're diving in nose deep, hoping to go for the 10. So far from the other cards or the other packs, these look great. It's a good sign, not guarantee. All right. So any last words? None at all. Okay. He didn't dig up all the fossil cards. That's what we're trying to do. So, all right. One last one. How foolish of me. Amateur hour. What is this? Crispy Penny ready. Probably even have a little top loader ready. Okay. Got the Penny. Got the top loader. Hands. I just got over being sick. Still have a little bit of tail end of the flu. Or not flu. A little cold. And my, unfortunately, my wife's got it. You know, I feel sorry. Anyways. Here we go. Okay. So it actually makes me wonder, I don't know, for those of you following, um, I'm sorry, I mean to beat around the bush, but for those of you kind of following around social media within the Pokemon community, you know, there seems to be a lot of first edition fossil cases just popping up everywhere. And a part of me, I'm like, kind of like pacing a little bit. I'm like, cause I have uh, the perfect 10 Dragon A first edition in a CGC slab. And I'm saying to myself, I always check that pop report to see if another one's going to pop up. And seeing how this card is, <laughs> seeing how, how minty Chris this is, if another dragon comes up, I am could be in trouble. But it doesn't matter. So we're going to have some fun. Just like that. We're in. All right, guys, we're in. Sometimes you just got to jump in. You know, if really you guys have a pool, it's freezing. You just got to jump in and get it over with. Let's get like sweaty palms. All right. Nice clean opening here. A little water type. I would love to see the Lapras, the Articuno. The good thing is when you when you have the you know the two chase cards that are harder to get tens in, well except for the Lapras. 
when you have those two and tens, you're really kind of going in this one saying like, I really don't mind whatever it is. Okay, I want to be very good, gentle here. I'm shaking already. <laughs> All right, so hold on. It's a little spec right here. Okay, so now we're looking on the first card. All right, look a little off centered. You guys see it that way? All right, let's just see it could be the first card. Ooh, they're mint. All right, so that one was. That's a little, a little better. All right, so you guys know what we're looking for. Okay. Come on, I can you not smile at this stuff? Gambler, that's initially what we're doing. All right, just I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, <laughs> I have a hitchhiker slump bad. Look at that, it doesn't help. All right, here yeah, we're good. The Grimer, Caboose Hunter, Old Boy Muck, Shelter, cards look good. I'm gonna take a quick look at the back, you guys. Kind of cool. Yep. Looking good, guys. All right, that's our fourth card. All right, it's our fifth. Okay, now so we're gonna start kind of like placing off a little bit. Okay. Here we go, guys. Ooh, okay, hold on, I want it. Okay. And notice how this card's a little bit slid a little bit. I want to be very careful because I do not want to take any chance of scratching a hollow foil here. Come on. Come on. I'm going to close my eyes. What is it? Oh, please be perfect. Please, please be perfect. Oh, please be perfect. Oh, wait. I think I just saw... Hang on. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh god, come on. Oh, it feels good, you guys. <laughs> I'm shaking. Oh, okay, okay. Come on. Come on. All right, hold on tight. Come on. Oh. <laughs> All right, come on. Oh, I've been looking for this card. All right, well, what's in the right hand corner, you guys? Come on. Let's take it. What's, like, what's wrong with me? Like, can keep my arms. Can you blame me? All right. Presuming we call him Mr. Shakes. Mr. Shakes a lot. Oh, you guys just wait, wait, wait okay. Hold on, hold on. Wow. Oh my lord! I'm just gonna hold the camera right there without shaking. Look at that. Oh man. Please, no whitening on the back. I need an assistant. What is this? Maybe you guys want to be like a, just a... Palms are sweaty. Knees weak. Arms are heavy. Just gently now. Oh my god, <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. All right, the deed's not over yet. All right, let's. All right, I guess it didn't really help you guys. I had a uh, shot of espresso before this. Oh man. Nice and gentle. There's no yellow border wear. You guys, I, I want to really just stress something here. This is not normal to just be cranking like pure like saying this is not normal. It's actually scary how perfect this card is. I mean extremely scary. La, la, la. Nice and neat in there. A little tap tap. All right. Now, let's grab one of these. You know what's funny? Wow, you guys. Wow. 
Oh, you have my finger. So I do want to. Okay. Now it's sealed up. Wow. Okay, you guys, I'm not going to lie out here. Let's just take another look at the back. It's a little off center in the back, but it's just a little bit. There's nothing wrong with this. Wow. Look. Yeah. No, so it, this is a nice card. I actually, I mean, other than the centering on the back, I would compare this to the Dragon I pulled. The weight. Folks, if you ever co open up a modern or a, uh, a vintage pack, it just feels a little older. This card, I you could you could put two packs in front of me, one being this one, the other one being a just a dark, like just called Darkness of Blaze, a modern Sword and Shield pack. If I blindfolded and I and I pulled this card, I could not even, regardless of the texture stuff. This card feels as if it came out of a, a modern pack. I mean, that is, it is absolutely a pure crispy piece of cardboard. Ha <laughs> ha, what a Sunday. Woo. This is what it's all about. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Wow. I mean, come on, look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Speechless. Now I feel hyped to open one up another one right now. My God, it's a whole nother video. I can't do it. I would love to, but I can't. Guys, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing stuff like this. Like, this is unreal. This is... Guys, thanks for just kind of just having fun with me on this. You know, a lot of other people just kind of don't understand and don't appreciate it. But those who do appreciate this, man, I appreciate you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Let's have some fun. Got more to come. We got a Zapdos pack next. Who knows what we're going to get? Could be the Muck. Could be the Grimer. Folks, it's Sunday. Seize the day. Carpe diem. I'm the Pole Father. It only takes one!